What is going on guys? It's been five days since the surgery, Thursday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and now Tuesday. Um, I've just been chilling at home. I took a few days off work, so I actually haven't even worked from home or anything. Just been chilling here. And uh, so this has been the life. Luckily, Allison has been helping me out a lot, but I um, just want to give you guys a quick update. It, it hurts. It's feeling better. Of course, the pain pills help too. I was trying to kind of tough it out and not use as many pain pills at first and I quickly regretted that decision and now I'm taking a pain pill like every six hours. So just trying to stay on top of it. Um, I think very soon here I'm going to be able to start weaning off of it and maybe taking some Tylenol or something rather than the gnarly stuff. But um, the crazy part is the leg feels like it's a, a thousand pounds. Like I can't do just like a straight leg lift like that. I, I can't. I just can't. It hurts a lot up here and everything. Move my foot. Um, this is able to move. So when I stand and stuff, I can bend my leg, but I'm not putting any weight on it. So I've just been chilling here. I have the ice machine that you just hook up just like this. It's not running right now, but you hook up and then um, cold water flows through the ice pack that I have under here, which is awesome. I don't know how I didn't have one of these before. You can just buy them on Amazon. I highly suggest them for any of us uh, motocross riders. We always, you know, have a sore wrist or ankle or knee or something. And, this thing is amazing. So we bought it from the hospital or surgery center. Anyway, getting off topic, uh, I'm gonna show you guys the bruising and uh, yeah, just wanna give you guys a quick little update. So we'll uh, move ourselves over this way. So uh, some water leaking from the uh, ice machine there. Mm, sure it is. Sure. <laughs> Going to the bathroom is hard, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just some um, ace bandages or whatever holding that on. And then I had a compression sock, but I took it off today because it was getting kind of nasty. So pretty crazy bruising. It's actually gotten worse. Murphy, watch out. I don't want him to stand up and hit me. Um, it's actually gotten worse since I saw it the first time. Um, let me see if I can get some extra light on it. So I'm really surprised just how far down the bruising goes. And then it comes all the way up. If you can swing around this way. All the way up here. And you can see it doesn't even look like I have a kneecap. It's so swollen, the main incision. But uh, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy. It feels pretty numb right now, but you can see like I can start to bend it. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. But uh, yeah, so that's the bruising. Lots of fun, pretty gnarly. So I haven't started physical therapy yet. Um, we wanted to get in, but they didn't have any openings, unfortunately. So I'm going in next week. Um, so it's just a little bit of a bummer. I wanted to start making improvements already, but um, that'll come soon enough. But yeah, just getting around on crutches here in the apartment. And even though it's a small apartment, I still do run into my own issues. So with the ice machine, one smart thing you can do is use um, water bottles. You freeze them instead of having to deplete your ice supply. But I only have a few because I did this earlier today. But just to um, get the, the best cooling, I think using the ice. So we'll get some ice over there. We'll grab some bottles too. And we got these pretty, pretty trick crutches here but carrying stuff doesn't work so well with them so we gotta be crafty so this expansion of the apartment is the hardest part because from here i can grab stuff and i just have to make it to the table but that's a few steps so rather than for a while i was doing stuff like this whatever this has been the best solution nice I've watched curling a time or two, so we can get this over here to the ice machine. Fill her on up. So we just got the fresh ice, but now we're hungry. We've got to go back and get some food. Obviously this would be super easy to carry, but for the sake of the video, I already ate dinner. So we're faking it. So we're just gonna put some grapes on a plate. 
Okay. Bear with me. <laughs> That's a lot of grapes. All right, so situation number two, can't really slide the grapes that easily. So we got the one armed, you move the crutch with the armpit. <laughs> this was actually easier with the old crutches, but gets the job done. <laughs> Murphy's concerned. We got this. <laughs> And I don't have a third good example of something I need to grab, but one more option is probably the best one. I mean, say you wanted to grab the cat. Boys, we got her. She loves it. <laughs> we can go back to the couch now. Oh. <laughs> Every, Might not be everybody the most loves effective, it. but it gets you around. So that's just some ways we've been traversing the apartment while dealing with this. <laughs> well, well, the cat got away. She took over the chair for whatever reason. We have an audience if you want to show them. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we got the grapes. We got the ice machine, so I'm going to hook that up to the ice pack here, put it back on my knee, but just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what it's been like. So um, the knee has been awful. Um, five days in, it's a little bit better now, but I also did take one of my pain pills maybe like two hours ago, so that's helping take the edge off a little bit. But um, Allison could tell you one of the nights getting into bed, lifting into bed, I was in agonizing pain. Like I wasn't screaming, but I, I was hurting. I wasn't crying, but I was close. It, it hurt a lot. Um, but as long as I'm staying on the pain meds, it's going all right. And every day I think it's going to continue to get better, especially once I get into PT and get that moving. So just wanted to give you guys an update and be transparent with it. If you're, go if you're going to get one of these ACL surgeries, it's, it's going to be a bummer. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's going to suck. It's going to hurt. I mean, what do you expect? But um, yeah, it's closer to recovery with that. So getting all taken care of. But I'm going to go ahead and plug into the ice machine and watch some Netflix and chow down on some grapes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little peek into here. I'll, uh, of course, try to keep videos coming. But as always, guys, until next time, take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice. Talk to you later.